Hello, welcome to uh, today's video. It is Monday, the uh, 20th day of January 2013, and today we'll take a look at news for the uh, four-day decline in silver. This is really more of a question and answer, understanding what they're trying to tell you. The daily chart for silver and the United States food stamp usage going back to 1969. So let's take a look at uh, the silver news. And it's multiple choice. One of those five answers is correct. Four are incorrect. Within the last four trading days, the price of silver COMEX has dipped a dollar seventy-four or five point four percent on A. Increased speculation that Tyson Foods will not beat street estimates. It could be B on news of the Perry Nuclear Plant reopening. It could be C because demand for physical silver uh, has declined sharply. It could be D, after news that Sean Payton was reinstated by the Saints. And it could be E, after news of Michael Marlon Kelly throwing his shoe through a window. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through these and eliminate some wrong answers. If you want to use the internet to try to uh, get the correct answer, there is actually one right and four wrong ones. So let's get this started. We'll start with letter A. Would this be correct or incorrect? That the price of silver went down a dollar and three quarters because of increased speculation that Tyson's food will not beat street estimates. Well, if you did a search, you would have found out that Tyson Foods will be uh, giving their numbers at the end of the week, but is there even any speculation that Tyson Foods will not even beat it? Because I made that up. So I don't think you would have found anything on the internet on this, so <laughs> it's not going to be A. B, on news of the Perry nuclear plant reopening. Now this is, it's got nothing to do with the price of silver, but had you have searched this, you would have found out that the Perry nuclear plant is actually closing. So that's a, 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 an incorrect statement. That's wrong. C, because demand for physical silver declined sharply. Well, the prices don't move up or down based on the physical demand or lack thereof demand. It moves in other ways. After all, it was about a week and change ago that the United States Mint could no longer handle sales of their silver eagles. So if anything, demand is high, so it can't be C. It's got to be either D or E. So it's either after news that Sean Payton was reinstated by the state, Saints or after news of Michael Marlon Kelly throwing a shoe through a window. Well, if you would have done a search, you would have found out that Sean Payton was reinstated last Tuesday. And you would have found out it was Friday morning that Michael Marlon Kelly threw a shoe through a window. So it, this didn't happen after that. It was in the middle of it. This all started Wednesday. So because Sean Payton being reinstated happened on Tuesday, the correct answer is D. Now, Sean Payton being reinstated by the Saints means absolutely nothing, but it was after the news. It, does, it doesn't say anything that's got to do anything with it. Just after the news that this occurred, that happened. And I'm saying this because you will oftentimes see within the mainstream media that blah, blah, blah happened after blah, blah, blah. Plain and simple. And finally, let's now take a look at some charts. Let's take a look at first the uh, silver daily chart for the uh, session again today is Monday. So this is where the decline started. Eight consecutive up days in a row. Now we got three consecutive down days in a row. And pretty much around the same value, the amount that's went down the last three days is pretty close to the amount that was increased over the eight days before then. On Friday, the price action came down to this first significant Fibonacci level within the band, of course, at 31.20. It bounced higher and then it closed the day at 31.20. And then more times you test support, more likely as you take it out, it's taken it out. It's also went below the uh, running average from this low, below the 18 average of lows, showing, hey, maybe it's a failed break it. But that, that's what I look for, for a start of either an up or a down move, is the failed move in the opposite direction that precedes it. So originally, you had this failed breakout. And when you're down here at 29, you're like, oh, man, this here looks like a failed breakout. I think we're going lower. And then days go by and you're back up here. Okay, wait a second here. This 
this is no longer looking like uh, we're breaking down in here. It looks like maybe that this might be the failed breakdown and we might go higher. Okay. So now that we're starting to see this level have a hard time holding, we're now approaching the must hold area of the really 30, we'll say, that maybe this is the failed breakout. You can have failure after failure after failure before, of course, uh, the actual move takes place. Remember, this chart has nothing to do with actual silver, even though it's the uh, silver chart. Okay. Final chart will be the food stamp one, which will go back to 1969. Basically, this is one divided by population divided by food stamp participants. So if there, we'll just put FP. So if there was a population of 100 and only one person on food stamps, 100 divided by 1 would be 100. 1 divided by 100 would be 1%. If there was 100 people in a population and 20 on food stamps, 100 divided by 20 is 5. 1 divided by 5 is 20%. So that's how these numbers are calculated. And therefore, 1969, the numbers were very low, 1.5%. Obviously, having a huge increase up to the early 80s, going up to about 9 point something percent, 10 point something percent. And this was the year we broke resistance. This was 2009, the year of the great recovery at least the now named by mainstream media. Because, because quite frankly, you can say all you want about the stock market going to 14,000, but ask these people on food stamps how much that means to them. Because quite frankly, we're in a really a criminal economic system because we are forced to do a fiat debt note system. I don't know which other way I can put it. But this chart really speaks for itself, I think, to say the least. It is over 15% right now. Thank you for tuning into today's video, and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.